What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to IGN's live coverage of the new Red Dead Redemption 2 reveal. Ooh. Damon Hatfield, this is Marty Sleva. Morning, everybody. We're both big Red Dead Redemption fans. Mm -hmm. We're super excited uh, for the new game. Uh, we're super excited to watch what we uh, expect to be a new trailer. We hope so, yeah. This morning with you, mm -hmm. all of you Red Dead fans out there. So here's what we've got for you this morning. Uh, in just about 14 minutes now, Rockstar should release uh, this new trailer, mm -hmm. Red Dead Redemption 2. So we're gonna take some time to recap everything we know so far. Yes. Uh, you know, the uh, the game was announced almost a year ago now. Yeah, and, almost a, exactly a year ago. And even yeah. before that, there were some leaks uh, and whatnot. So we, we can cover all of that. And then uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit of speculation and uh, postulating mm -hmm. about what we uh, both expect and hope to see today. And then uh, we also want to hear from you. So Marty and I are both monitoring our Twitter accounts. I'm at Dame Zero. Marty's Mick Biggity mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter. So if you have your own uh, theories about what you think and hope to see today, hit us up on Twitter and we'll share them here. And then uh, in about 14 minutes, 8 a.m. Pacific time, 11 a.m. Eastern time, we'll all watch the new trailer together and then we'll uh, start diving into it and yeah. picking it apart. Live analysis. Hopefully yeah. there's horses. I, yeah, how many, so I can guarantee you there are gonna be horses, but how many is So we can guarantee horse, but will it be horses? Let's, let's make a guess, Price is Right rules. 115. 115 horses. Several horses. All right, I'm gonna, I'll go 99. <laughs> That's, I'm going, that's a safe bet. That's a I safe think bet. there are going to be 99 horses. Uh, you all will hold us to... <laughs> Accountable for our Come horse on. bets. Shake on it. Gentleman's bet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this new game is called Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes. But it is the third game in the yeah. Red Dead series. So going back to uh, Red Dead Revolver. Yeah. That was in uh, 2004. That was a game started by Capcom. Two generations ago. Yeah. Uh, started by Capcom, and it sort of fell into limbo before Rockstar picked it up and finished it. And uh, you played as a character named Red in that game. Um, but then flash forward to, I guess, six years later in 2010, we got Red Dead Redemption. Yep. Completely different story, completely different characters, full open world, and we gave that game a 9.7 back then. Yeah. Uh, one of our Game of the Year nominees, and honestly, one of the best games of the last generation, in my opinion. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about Red Dead Redemption recently, and obviously people loved it at the time, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's one of those games, uh, like a top-tier game that we cover here at IGN that has just, like, grown in popularity yeah. and has become... Very beloved over the years. It's like yeah. up there with like Skyrim level totally. games, uh, The Last of Us, mm -hmm. in terms of the games that people love. And I think one of those things about it is that it never got like an HD remaster, so you can't. It's not on you know PS4, or Xbox One. It also never came to PC, so it's yeah. sort of this thing that's like this this. It's locked away just on PS3 and Xbox 360, but everyone has yeah. such fond memories of it. And honestly, since then we really haven't gotten a big meaty Western game to compete with it. Yeah, there's been some smaller fare, yeah. uh, some called Juarez, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gunslinger, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, not, not, a, not a big open world yeah. uh, AAA game like that. You, you talk about HD remasters, uh, Rockstar did recently announce they're bringing L.A. Noire, yeah. uh, an, an HD remaster of that, to both, uh, you know, all, all three current mm -hmm. consoles, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Switch. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if any chance that they'll uh, bring the original Red Dead Redemption to Switch. I mean, I would love to see that. Like, maybe that's what today is about, and maybe there's not going to be any horses. Um, but yeah, I mean, given the news that uh, LA Noir, games like L.A. Noir and uh, Doom and Skyrim and Wolfenstein are coming to Switch, like, we know that Nintendo's little handheld hybrid can handle a game like this, so yeah. I think it'd be awesome to have a big open world game on Switch. M Marty, even if today's announcement is about Red Dead Redemption coming to Switch, there are still going to be horses. There's definitely going to be so horses, so, so I think we're safe. Stands. Yeah. Don't try to get I, I'm never, I would never do that. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's, let's, let's recap a little bit of the history mm -hmm. of, of uh, our, or let's retread mm -hmm. our path to today. Yeah. Uh, as you said, Red Dead Redemption was uh, released in 2010. Yep. Instant classic. Mm -hmm. Then we have, have a long drought uh, on, the, on, the, on that series. But back in May of 2014, uh, Take Two CEO Strauss Zelnick. Amazing, man referred to Red Dead as a permanent franchise for the publisher. Yeah. Uh, which was good news for all of us Red Dead fans. Mm -hmm. that, that seemed to indicate that uh, we could expect yeah. uh, to be getting more Red Dead. But of course, that was three years ago mm -hmm. now, it, over three years. It wouldn't be until April 2016 that uh, this map that you're seeing on the screen right now, this alleged game map from Red Dead Redemption 2 leaked yeah. online and was confirmed by an independent source uh, that it was supposedly real and 
at the time, a very recent model of the yeah. game's art direction. And one uh, really interesting thing there is you saw the circle of New Bordeaux, and New Bordeaux is actually the location of Mafia Three, so which is New Orleans. So yeah. it's the idea that this would take place clearly like before the sixties and seventies, but that maybe it's sort of going to be this like take two cinematic universe. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's how the word cinematic works, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they need a, sh a word for a like shared interactive video game. universe. An interactive, yeah. the I, the, the take two I U. <laughs> works. So, Let's go with that for yeah, now. Okay, perfect. Until we think of something better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a very interesting detail that people noticed. Uh, of course, now that that was uh, a year and a half ago, yeah. so things could have changed. Uh, but another uh, detail that came out at that time, the same independent source that was able to verify this map claimed that this game would be a prequel. Mm -hmm to Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, the first game took place in 1911, and you played as John Marston, uh, but there was a lot that happened before that. There's yeah. a lot of story that's inferred with him and the, uh, the Dutch gang, and like what his sort of former life of uh, being an outlaw and thievery was like, and so people were thinking maybe this game is going to be set in that time period. But now, it would seem strange to me to, uh, if it's a prequel, to call yeah. it Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, names don't really matter. That's true. <laughs> in video games, yeah. in names don't really yeah. matter. <laughs> um, but if we're looking at, you know, if this is going to be, if you look at what Rockstar does with GTA, like maybe this is just going to be, maybe it'll take place in the late 1800s, but just be about different characters. Yeah. Maybe none of these people are John Marston. Maybe it's just seven yeah. new outlaws. Yeah, if we're just, we're meaning new guns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That could be. Uh, well, I don't know. I think John Marston is a, a fairly beloved character. Yes. So I think fans would probably want to see John Marston return. Yeah. At least some form. I have my fingers crossed. Yeah. So. All right. So that was in uh, spring of 2016 mm -hmm. when those leaks happened. Then about six months later, in October 2016, Rockstar was finally able to fully officially reveal yeah. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I, First, they posted a wordless tweet. Oh, God, I love I remember waking up, and all it was was this sort of blood red sky with yeah. the Rockstar logo, and everyone just lost their minds because yeah. they're like, we this is it. it. It's you happening. Knew, you knew exactly yeah. what that was. That was in uh, October of 2016. Uh, and then the very next day after that, they registered the domain name Red Dead Online. Yeah. Uh, it, it, of course, now redirects to an Amazon pre-order yeah. for Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, so, you know, of, of course, GTA Online has been an unbelievable success. Yes, I mean it is. It's, it's words can't describe it keeps, how successful it's it been. keeps Grand Theft Auto V in the at the right at the top of the top grossing video yep. games charts month after month after month, four years after that game. It's released. it's it, unlike anything else, and and that's what everyone's always like. Where's the single player DLC? I'm like Rockstar doesn't need to do that. Like yeah. this is GTA Online is their single player DLC. Yeah. So of course registering uh, Red Dead Online mm -hmm. indicates that we can expect some sort of uh, shared online experience. Absolutely. In yeah. The next I think Red that's Day. that's all but a guarantee. Uh, and then it was October 18th last year mm -hmm. when Rockstar finally officially announced Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, which at the time had a fall 2017 release date. Yeah, we got that uh, super gorgeous sort of tone piece of a trailer that showed a lot of shots of uh, the environment and of animals and of towns and, and no gameplay, obviously, and very minimal scant uh, voiceover. But yeah, it ended with, uh, you know, coming fall 2017, yeah. which is where we are now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Of course, it would eventually be delayed. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll get there in a second, though. Uh, at the time, it was announced for PS4 and Xbox One. Mm -hmm. no, P no PC no port PC. was yeah. announced at the time. And the Switch didn't exist at the time. So. Well, the, actually, the Switch <laughs> was revealed the same yeah. week as Red Dead Redemption 2 yeah. last year, if you remember. That, that was, was, a, busy that was week. a busy week, yeah. What's up with October, man? I don't October's going to be busy for us this year, yeah, too. Yeah, undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. um, but then we also got the news that... Uh, that Rockstar was going to have a partnership with Sony and that yeah. uh, we can expect sort of like a marketing <laughs> deal where DLC might come first to PS4. Yeah, and, and uh, they revealed that the trailer that they revealed last year was running on a PlayStation 4. Yeah. So, uh, I'm sure we can actually bring up that trailer if we haven't run it yet. Uh, this uh, The first trailer that we mm -hmm. got for Red Dead Redemption 2 a year ago uh, was more of a tone piece. Mm -hmm. and it sort of like set the mood and didn't yeah. really introduce any of the main characters. No, no, not at all. And you had a little bit of voiceover, but you had no idea if it was from a character you were playing as or just an NPC. And it reminded me a lot of the first GTA 5 trailer, which yeah. were shots of Los Santos and some dialogue just pointing towards, you know, a life of crime. But we didn't know who it was. Um, but you just sort of, you know, this is what the game is going to be like. And you look at here, like, this is stunning. Mm -hmm. Like, this game is absolutely stunning to see what uh, Rockstar has done in this sort of Western setting in the past seven years since... Buffalo don't started. count, Marty. Buffalo don't count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rockstar described the official uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 description at the time was an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland 
The game's vast and atmospheric world will also provide the foundation for a brand new online multiplayer yeah. experience. Which, is this what we're seeing now? Like, yeah. is this single player with your NPC buddies, or was that you and six pals, you know, horsing around? Also, we saw seven horses there, so we're close. That's last year. <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Only new horses count. Oh, Marty. Dang. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, John Marston used to run in a gang. Yeah. An, out an outlaw gang. Yeah. Uh, so maybe the online experience is about forming up a gang with your friends. I keep behind that. An outlaw yeah. gang. Yeah, I'd like that. Cool. And robbing trains. Well, I, all I want to do is rob trains. I want it to be like that Breaking Bad episode. Yeah. Except how it ended. That was a bad ending. Uh, so of course, fall 2017 has come. Yeah. Uh, the game's not out yet. We don't have that kid. The game ended up getting delayed to spring 2018. Yes. That's a big window. Mm -hmm. Do we get a release date today? So uh, Rockstar has been notorious. It, they release incredible games, but they release them on Rockstar time, sure. which is totally fine. It's one of those, you know, like, we'll get there when we get there. And so, yeah, back in May, right before E3, they said, uh, it's going to be delayed. Here are some screenshots. Uh, we'll see you guys in, in spring uh, 2018. Uh, uh, my gut says that this game isn't coming in spring and that Whoa. it's going to have a very similar window as uh, GTA V, and I'm thinking late summer, early fall next year. Yeah, September, -ish September -ish. time frame. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to be proven wrong, but yeah. you know, we'll see. Well, like we said earlier at the top of the show, Red Dead, Redem Red Dead Redemption came out in May. Yeah, that was a May game. That started that sort of trend of giant games coming in April and May with uh, Portal Two and The Last of Us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, at the time of that delay, Rockstar said, "We are very sorry for any disappointment this mm -hmm. delay causes, but we are firm believers in delivering a game only when it is ready. Mm -hmm. We are really excited to bring you more details about the game this summer." So we were expecting... <laughs> we were like, maybe they're going to be at E3. Maybe they'll be at E3. Maybe they'll do their own thing this yeah. summer. Uh, it turned out, on the very last day of summer, yeah. <laughs> uh, buzzer beater, they announced that this announcement yeah. was coming today. Not so. only was it the very last day, but it was at like 8 a.m. that day, and yeah. summer technically ended at 1 p.m. So they got in like four hours. They had like four hours to spare. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they announced that they have something to share today, mm -hmm. September 28th at 8 a.m. Pacific, which now is just three minutes away. Holy moly. Ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we would hazard a guess that there will be a trailer uh, coming in, in the next few minutes that will give us a glimpse at the story and the characters yeah, of Red so Dead Redemption 2. I'm, I'm going solely based on GTA 5 marketing. So we had that initial trailer that we were talking about that was much like last year's Red Dead trailer. And then uh, the second trailer was a couple minutes long and it featured uh, Michael and it featured Trevor and it featured Franklin and it showed uh, all the different activities and stuff you're going to be doing in Los Santos and just sort of like what the story is going to be, who these characters are. So I'm expecting that this... It's probably not going to be gameplay, gameplay. Like, I don't think we're going to see a HUD or anything, but I think it's going to be a more in-depth look at the setting and who we're going to be playing as and mm -hmm. sort of the activities we're going to be doing. All right, well, that With brings 115 us... 115 horses. 115, Marty has claimed. Yeah. We'll, we shall see. Uh, all right, so that brings us up to speed on yeah. uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Again, we're just a couple minutes away from uh, the uh, release of what we expect to be a big new trailer. So it's time to speculate Whew. and uh, share what we hope to see. Yeah. We, we've been talking about uh, whether or not this is a prequel, whether or not it stars John Marston. If you're uh, with us this morning, just mm -hmm. hit us up on Twitter, either me or Marty, and uh, share your hopes and dreams yeah. for Red Dead Redemption 2. Killer Katie did. Yeah. Uh, and she says, I really want to be a girl in this game. Yeah. Rockstar Games, uh, surprising, still have a majority of male protagonists. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, absolutely. And I would like, totally be down to be a, a girl boy. Yeah, no, I mean, totally. Like, uh, I mean, in, like historically, you have I'd people probably like... Probably a cowgirl. Yeah. Probably not a girl boy. <laughs> but you have people like <laughs> Calamity Jane, like, who was like one of the most amazing outlaws in, yeah. in American history. Uh, and I, I feel like if we do have multiple protagonists, like in GTA V, like, yeah. totally, have one of them be a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want this to be a prequel, or do you want to uh, continue the story from Red Dead Redemption? I want this to be completely different characters. I love John Marston. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Red Dead 1 ended with you uh, taking the boots of his son, Jack Marston. Um, I would be totally fine if this is a completely different set of characters. Just wash away what happened in Red Dead Redemption and just mm -hmm. give us a new you know, next-gen, which I guess is now current-gen because it's been that for four years, yeah. uh, open-world Western. Here's my, my hope Ooh. and my dream. Ooh. Undead Nightmare ah. makes a return. We didn't talk about that at all. I know. Like Undead Nightmare is one of the coolest expansions ever yep. made. It's not yep. even. I think it's standalone, and it's such a like 
It's so insane, and it also set up the groundwork for all the crazy stuff that Rockstar's done with GTA Online, if you look at that game. Yeah, and I think it set the groundwork for what Call of Duty does with zombies. Zombies, yeah, yeah honestly. Taking a, a serious game, and then adding like bizarre, wacky, super. Does a zombie horse count as two horses? Uh, no, still one horse. Okay, well. It, well <laughs> if you see a horse in one shot, Okay, we've got the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued, Marty. I guess we'll go to something more important. Yeah, we've got the new trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's all enjoy it together, but stick around. We're gonna analyze it afterwards. Let's roll that beautiful footage. All right, that was a short little tease of the new Red Dead Redemption trailer. I'm being told we are standing by, and now we've got audio. We've sorted out our audio issues. Okay, perfect. So. I already saw a horse. Uh, yeah, so you're already... Okay. Keep counting. Okay. Uh, here we go. For real this time, here's the new Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. Beautiful. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our next look at Red Dead Redemption 2, still coming spring 2018. Okay, so I was wrong about a couple things. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not September, it's spring. Also, far fewer than uh, 115 horses. Yes, uh, but also far fewer than 99 horses. Yes, okay, so, so, we're, bo so we're both, both wrong. both go home uh, empty-handed. With today. zero prizes, uh, yeah. yeah I can handle prizes. that, yeah. Uh, okay, so there's stuff to unpack, but I think the first thing that we should do is uh, play it again. Let's can all, we, yeah, can we, we, should all can we watch, watch the trailer again. again just to sort of soak it in? We're going to watch it again so we can all uh, really soak it in. The, the audio was a little quiet for us here in the studio, so let's roll it again, and Destin, let's really crank the audio this time mm -hmm. so you can hear... We can meet all of our new uh, characters yes. and hear all the dialogue this time around. All those beautiful so, horses. Uh, let's watch it again. Here we go.
All right, Marty. So my big question is: Are we a bad guy now? I think we're a. <laughs> I think we're a bad guy. I mean, when you sort of think of it, we were always a bad guy. Like, I mean, Red we Dead were, Redemption, uh, based on the name Redemption. Yeah. Like, he, John Marston, did terrible things in the past with the with the Dutch gang, and you know he had to pay for that. And when the Pinkertons came a call, and he had to go uh, sort of redeem himself. And at yeah. the end, you know, it was all sort of futile. Um, but seeing it here, like. I really do think that this is a GTA Five scenario where I think we're playing as a couple people in this trailer, and, and this I, is sort of giving us a, a good look at one of them. I think this is giving us a, a, a core look at one of them. Uh, I think it might be this Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, that's, yeah, that's the name that I got from this. is the name we're getting. Um, and then you know we see these side characters. We see uh, sort of a, a teenager threatened. Uh, mm -hmm. You know his mom being threatened, uh, and then we see this woman who says, "You're the only one I could trust here," mm -hmm. and so. You know, taking a look at this, you're like, am I going to be playing as this Mr. Morgan, as yeah. well as maybe this sort of kid becoming an adult, as well as maybe this woman? Okay. Um, and then, you know, taking a look, we have a ton of, uh, I think one thing we do see is... Let's actually just jump into the trailer. Yeah, here. one thing we do see is a ton of the activities here, so... Okay. Show me, show, me, show some activities. Okay, so first off, one horse. We, yeah, got, the, we one, got the one horse. For everyone that's counting. Yeah, and so we're taking a look at this, and uh, you know, first off, this is obviously going to be the sort of open world uh, exploration facet. Um, you see this character here that you're sort of jostling awake. Um, I'm you're acting like a bully. You're acting a little bit like a bully. See here these sort of encampments and, and cooking. I wonder if it could take a cue from something like what Breath of the Wild does with cooking or what, um, I mean, what RPGs or, or um, you know, Final Fantasy XV do, and maybe there's sort of a survival aspect to it where you're going to have to make camp at certain parts. Like, are we going to be foraging for resources? Are these going to be sort of places where, where characters can gather and, and either, you know, level up or sort yeah. of get missions? Well, there already was, you know, the hunting yeah. and gathering mechanic in totally. the first Red Dead. Yeah, and in, I feel like in the, last, in the last seven years, like, that as a mechanic in games has just exploded, especially, yeah. like, in, think about Far Cry, think about the new AC. When I, when I think about Horizon, I think maybe it went a little too far. Yeah, <laughs> I think, think there's a happy medium with that. Bit. And Rockstar has explored sort of that, that uh, food and resource management mechanic with GTA San Andreas, where you had you ate cheeseburgers oh, yeah. and then gained weight and then you had to like again run. maybe a little too far. <laughs> uh, What's our next beat here? Uh, we see this. We see these. Uh, they, did they confirm the setting for us in this? Trailer? No, I mean everything you see. It seems really diverse. Yeah, like it seems like we or have least, everything a, from a big swath of the uh, eastern uh, side of America. Yeah, I mean uh, absolutely. And so we see, uh, you know, we see. Mountains, this looks like it could be Montana or Wyoming, uh, but when you go forward, you know, we have towns, this is, you see the drugstore in the back, like this could be North Dakota, this could be South Dakota, this could be, um, this could be Deadwood for all we know. Um, you know, sort of classic, iconic uh, cowboy shots rolling into town, churches. Uh, you see this, is, I think this is the mom mourning the, yeah. the husband, who, the, the kid is then threatened afterwards. Yeah. Um, which the one thing about here is, I think some people in the chat were like, "Oh, this is this is Jack Marston. This is John Marston's grief." But that's not true because in Red Dead One, spoilers. Is that, are we past the point? Well, <laughs> okay. Well, just tread lightly. Okay, tread lightly. Uh, this Shoots. doesn't really fit in the time frame yeah. of Red Dead One. Um, Do we know uh, the time period here? I don't think we know the time period exactly. Yeah. A bulk of Red Dead 1 takes place in 1911. We still don't know if this is a prequel. We still don't know if this is a prequel. We don't, and we don't know, like my gut is, whether it takes place before or after doesn't make it a prequel or a sequel. Like my gut says, like even if it takes place in 1901, I wouldn't call it a prequel. Um, yeah. But you know, I don't think we get one thing. Is was it? I think it was a two last time we I saw it. I do believe the last time we saw the logo, it was a, a numeral two. So that's and now it's been, it's a, huge. A number two. Now it's yeah. a Roman, Roman numeral, numeral two. two. So maybe it takes place in Rome. Uh, here we get a good. <laughs> we get uh, what I assume is going to be a major part of the game in terms of train heists. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we see here, like, I don't know. Part of me is thinking: Is this all single player we're seeing, or is some of this going to be? Is the online maybe Red Dead Online is so fully integrated that it's like Destiny, where it's a, a shared world where. You know, yeah. we're going to be coexisting in the same thing, and like maybe a couple of us are going to be doing the same story mission where we're, you know, robbing this train. Yeah, you know, when they first revealed the game, they they, they stressed uh, that they had this revolutionary online mm -hmm. experience. But if the game's coming out in spring, <clears throat> it's only six months away now, yeah. and I feel like they're still holding their cards really close to their chests. Yeah, yeah. In uh, the spring, when they say spring, if uh, it is a Western destiny, westerny. 
Uh, here first. I would think they'd want to get up and, 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 and let everybody know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Western Destiny. I like Western I trademarked that. You trademarked Western. If anybody else uses that, you owe me a quarter. <laughs> Uh, you, we also just have, like, this This uh, trailer is filled with a ton of stunning shots that, like, yeah. sort of bring to mind old iconic <clears throat> westerns. Like, look at this. Like, this looks like something like John Ford would have done. Looks or, like The Unforgiven. Yes, exactly. Oh, God. That movie. Uh, so, again, the diversity of the setting is yeah. here. Like, this is clearly somewhere in the north. So this is North Dakota. This is Montana. This is Colorado. Um, and I like the idea of... Depending on the locations you go, like the, the ecosystem totally changes. I mean, that totally changes how the gameplay works. In the yeah. Game. We also got to see uh, a, a few shots of wildlife. Yeah. Bears, totally. alligators, which yeah, also indicates yeah. uh, a diversity of terrain. Oh, absolutely. You know, probably go down to the, the bayous. And so swamps. that's another thing is we see what looks or could be sort of new Bordeaux. Like this is yeah. what we're seeing now. Like these almost look like, uh, you know, plantations or, or sort of Creole settlements, which is such a, you know, mm. huge difference yeah. from, uh, you know the settings we saw, whether it be okay. the the mountains or whether it be the snow. Actually, we've got. Oh, well, let's 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 uh, uh, continue through the uh, trailer here. But we do have some pre-order information Ooh, that we can share here beautiful. in just a moment. But uh, um, here's the uh, crocodiles alligator. or alligators. Uh, I don't know what it's the difference. Alligators is. are in America. Okay, America. so that's probably that. So yeah, this totally. I mean, this looks like there was a mission in Mafia that reminded me of this. So this might that new Bordeaux thing might have been yeah. real. So yeah. Uh, yeah, this looks like here it's sort of a, a stealthy mission. You got some of the hunting there and some of the here's wildlife. The, here's the lady. Yes, here's the uh, for the, the moment we're gonna call her uh, Calamity Jane. Uh, not confirmed. Not confirmed to be Calamity Jane, but she's clearly she's a badass. Very, she's she's very stabby. Dude man. Yeah, very stabby. Stabby Jane. Yeah, stabby Jane. And that's what her saying, you know, you're the only one I trust. Uh, we have this here, which is um, the taming of the wildlife. So I don't know if, you know, we're going to be sort of finding different horses out in the wild and trying to, you know, maybe there's going to be like an in-depth lasso mechanic, uh, yeah. sort of an in-depth horse relationship. That's a terrible Dual wielding. Dual wielding. Um, you see here stealth kills. This is obviously some sort of a you know bank yeah, heist. I love you see you see train robberies, bank robberies, uh, shaking down. People. Oh yeah, yeah. Which uh, yeah, which again I think is really cool. Yeah, the dual wielding that you were talking about. And this is the this character is the guy at the core. Yeah, and at least which, of this trailer. Of this trailer, and I'm like, like you said, are we a bad guy? Like this guy doesn't seem like a good dude. Um, maybe they're going to introduce a morality system of some sorts, which you know Rockstar's never really done, but. I guess when you go yeah. back to uh, GTA 4, there was the choice to, to who are you going to side with and who are you going to kill with like Playboy X. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, you have here some more killing. You have this dude who sort of just seems, he seems like that that smarmy politician that's in like, you know, every iconic Western. I don't like that guy. He's definitely from Deadwood. A Tom Selleck esque character. Uh, you see here the, the burning of a mansion or a plantation, which again yeah. points to a setting that's sort of like New Bordeaux in the yep. American South. Mm -hmm. Okay, we actually have a official copy from Rockstar describing Red Dead Redemption 2. This is hot off the press, so here we go. Red Dead Redemption 2, are you listening, Marty? I am. Is the story of outlaw Arthur Morgan, Mr. Morgan, yeah. and the Vanderland gang as they rob, fight, and steal their way across the vast and rugged heart of America in order to survive. Developed by the creators of Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption, there is more. <laughs> uh, but the thing this cues into, uh, Vanderland was a character in Red Dead. In Red Dead uh, One, he was a member of the gang. Oh, so okay. this there is a connection. So there's but Vanderlyn was definitely a he was a side character. Like he okay. wasn't he, he wasn't as big as Williamson or Javier Escuela or Marston. Hmm. Uh, developed by the creators of Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland. The game's vast and atmospheric world will also provide, this is what we got last year, the foundation for a brand new online multiplayer experience. Yeah. That's awesome. So that's there, there you go. That's Dutch Vanderlyn. That's it. Like we, the Vanderlyn gang is confirmed. Uh, so we're, we're getting some uh, responses from our fans on Twitter. Yeah. Tom Law says, he mentions that one of the voiceovers in that trailer says, we need an extra gun. Yeah. He's hoping that's John. So okay, so maybe this is, this, so this could maybe be the Maybe they recruit prequel. John. Yeah, so maybe this is the story of how Dutch Vanderlyn like started his gang and that's where we find, you know, the old, the old school Vanderlyns which had, yeah. uh, you know, Javier Escuela and then had uh, Bill Williamson and then you do end up gathering John maybe. That could have been Abigail, the woman we see in the uh, yeah. in the in the brothel, because she was a sort of a roving prostitute who John eventually fell in love with, and uh, when he got her pregnant, that was sort of the impetus for him leaving the gang. 
Yeah. Uh, Destin, if you can, share with, share, us, uh, share with us the pre-order information when you get a chance. But Marty, first of all, give me your, 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 your first impressions of the new trailer. I think the trailer's great, honestly. I think it's super Even cool. it was a little short? It was a little short, yeah, but this is, uh, it's sort of almost the exact same length, I think, of that uh, G second GTA V trailer where we got introduced to Trevor and Franklin. Um, so uh, roughly two minutes, but it did show us, you know, the, the characters who are going to exist in the world. It did show us that, you know, this is Dutch, that this is... I don't, I'm not sure who this Mr. Morgan is, but we have, you know, we have Dutch Vanderlyn, and and if this is him forming his initial gang, like, yeah. are we going to see young John Marston? Are we going to see young Javier Escuela? Yeah, uh, we're still we we haven't gotten any uh, information on collectors items yet. Yes. but uh, one of our viewers, THX 1138, uh, hopes we get an awesome pre-order item like collector's horse armor. <laughs> horse armor, which is historically <laughs> accurate. Yeah, absolutely. Very common in, in the old west. Yeah. Uh, let's run through the trailer uh, one last time, mm -hmm. scrubbing through it to see if there's anything else we missed. Uh, but Red Dead Redemption 2 still does not have a release date. Yeah. We just have the spring 2018 window. Yeah, in spring, uh, it's, it's in terms of, you know, 2K and Take Two's fiscal year, I assume it's, they're going to want it out before March 31st. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's a very early. Um, 2018. Got some money for me, boy. Uh, William Ramos points out, he says, is it just me or does it look like we'll be doing bank heists like yes. in GTA V? And yeah, it's, it's, it looks very likely. Bank heists, train robberies, uh, and again, a lot of this, like, you're wondering how much of this is any of this online? Because GTA V didn't launch with online. So is Red Dead going to launch single player and then maybe online launches next fall? Yeah. Uh, or are they going to launch simultaneously? Uh, and oh, okay, so uh, one of our viewers, man has no name, Ooh, it's pretty good. Uh, he points out that the smarmy guy with the long hair isn't a politician. He says that's Dutch from the first game. That's the, the, the Tom Selleck man? Yeah. So there you go. That's, that's Dutch Vanderland. So there's our connection. There's our connection, yeah. And so this is, you know, looks like this takes place before, uh, before 1911. So this would be the confusing Red Dead 2, which is actually the one before Red Dead 1. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, so now, we're getting, now we're getting, <laughs> now we're getting into it. Uh, yeah, we're getting, getting uh, confirmation that this is Dutch right yeah. there. So we had Dutch, the, the, I'm just going to call him Tom Selleck. <laughs> Dutch Selleck. Dutch Selleck. <laughs> so that's it, our core. That's Dutch Vanderland. That's sort of the, the, the everything bad that happens to John Marston. I guess everything good that happens to John Marston is because of him, because that's how we met Abigail and eventually had Jack. Yeah, exactly. But everything bad that happened to John Marston after that is uh, all because of Dutch. So it's kind of weird if this is a prequel, that we know how this all unfolds. Exactly. Like we yeah, know how this, we, you know, which is a Star Wars thing. Exactly. Yeah. We, we, you know, that's that's always going to be a problem with prequels. Yeah. But people make it work. Like yeah. In absolutely. Uh, let's let it play out here. I like yeah. this trailer. I'm, I would say I'm a little disappointed that it's not a little meatier. Yeah. Uh, that second trailer that we got for GTA V mm -hmm. really went in depth in, in, into the world of yeah. that game. Yeah. Yeah. And introduced and the characters. Yeah. And it, and it, it did. Uh, I guess we didn't know at the time, but we were being introduced to you know Trevor and 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 Franklin and Michael like by name and that's who ended up being the trinity of that game and yeah. hopping back and forth and so yeah, we don't quite have you know knowledge of whether we're going to be playing as one of these characters or several of these characters mm -hmm. um, but given how successful GTA 5 was I would imagine they're going to sort of stick to that playbook yeah and I keep thinking if this game is coming out in spring 2018 we, they still really haven't shown us much of this game and yeah. it's only six months away yeah. however like you said uh, at the pre-show maybe they're thinking it's going to be delayed. Yeah, they're, they're but also, stuff back, so. you know, Rockstar operates on, on Rockstar's schedule. That's true. And That's so uh, looking at the rest of the beats for the year, you know, although Rockstar's generally, they don't show up to, to major events. Like, they true. have their own events at 8 a.m. Yep. <laughs> on a Thursday. Uh, but looking at what we have left before spring is we have PSX in December. And we know that this game has a That's sort of a marketing thing with they Sony. They do have a marketing thing with Sony. That's a really good point, Marty. So is this something, could we see the next big drop, you know, December 8th, 9th it's, at PSX? It's entirely possible. Yeah, uh, I think that'd be cool. I think when uh, G before GTA V came to current gen consoles, mm -hmm. they had a little thing uh, at e at Sony's E3 uh, a little tease, yeah, conference, yeah, yeah a tease yeah. of the current gen version. So, uh, stay tuned. We shall see. Everybody, thank you for joining us this morning for the uh, second trailer reveal for Red Dead Redemption 2. If you're here on the West Coast with Marty and I, thanks for getting up early with us. And uh, for much more coverage on Red Dead Redemption 2 and all things video games, stay tuned to IGN.
What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to IGN's live coverage of the new Red Dead Redemption 2 reveal. Woo! Damon Hatfield, this is Marty Sleva. Morning, everybody. We're both big Red Dead Redemption fans. Mm -hmm. We're super excited uh, for the new game. Uh, we're super excited to watch what we uh, expect to be a new trailer. We hope so, yeah. This morning with you, mm -hmm. all of you Red Dead fans out there. So here's what we've got for you this morning. Uh, in just about 14 minutes now, Rockstar should release uh, this new trailer, mm -hmm. Red Dead Redemption 2. So we're gonna take some time to recap everything we know so far. Yes. Uh, you know, the...